Good evening. I'm Beth Farnsworth. And I'm CJ Ward. We begin tonight with our tip line investigation. The growing scandal involving Japanese airbag maker Takata may cost a Santa Paula man his dream car. But the reality is those defective airbags could cost someone their life. As you're about to see in tonight's tip line investigation, millions of Americans are faced with a life and death decision. That growl is from a 2012 Boss 302 Mustang, number 539 of only 700 ever made by Ford. It's a street legal race car, and its proud owner is David Solis. Looks real nice in my driveway. And that's where it's been sitting since July 2015, when he received the notice that his car is part of the Takata airbag recall. I miss driving my toy, I'll tell you that much. After he got the notice, Solis debated whether he should drive the car anyway. It's his only transportation, and he's making $700 a month payments on it. I called, uh, I called Ford. They told me, go ahead and drive your vehicle. It's safe to drive. You know, The National Highway Transportation and Safety Association says so. I called NHTSA, they tell me, do not drive your vehicle, your recall notice says your car can kill you or seriously injure you. According to NHTSA, this is in front of my chest. Defective Takata airbags have killed 10 people so far. The most recent death happened in South Carolina around Christmas, and that prompted another round of recalls. To date, the Takata recall includes 19 million vehicles. By 12 automakers. To me, the fix is simple. Solis says Ford refuses to put in writing that his car is safe to drive or when it might be fixed. And their most recent out last uh, story to me was, like I said, next August or September, they might have my parts for me. What part is Ford and the other automakers scrambling to replace? When a crash occurs, it's called an inflator. It's a small canister that during a crash is designed to create a small controlled explosion that inflates the airbag in a fraction of a second and hopefully save lives. But the defective Takata inflators blow up like a grenade instead, sending shrapnel throughout the cabin of the vehicle. And instead of saving lives, it's killing people. Adding insult to irony, Solis is a former auto worker. He worked for General Motors for 25 years. In the 80s, we used to fight to keep Japanese parts out of our cars and to keep them American made. Now, 30 years later, he sees the irony. A defective Japanese auto part could cost him his dream car. I wanted this vehicle since I was a small child. And to have this problem with it, is, it's just sad. It's a sad situation to think I might have to get rid of it. And Solis says he asked Ford to disable the airbag or give him a loaner car. Ford refused both requests. And besides NHTSA, people, it, it, uh, NHTSA is advising people do not disable that airbag. Don't mess with it. So what does all of this mean for you? In just the past 24 hours, Honda announced it's recalling another 2.2 million cars equipped with Takata airbags. Some of them include 2016 Acura models. Now, chances are this recall is going to get much bigger, and it could take years to replace all of those defective Takata inflators. Here's the bottom line. Ford and NHTSA really didn't answer my questions for this story. You can see Ford's response in its entirety and links to NHTSA's website at KEYT.com. As for Takata, representatives for the company did not return any of my phone calls. Absolutely maddening. Frustrating. Very, I, very frustrating. I have a feeling that your phone is going to start ringing off the hook. Well, sadly, this, the, everything he's going through applies to everybody else Absolutely, who's part of this recall. Yes. It's millions of Americans, yeah. so it'll okay. go on for quite a while. Okay, keep us posted, too. Okay. Moving now to the film.